Hey, what is up, guys? I'm Saman Fazal. Welcome to my first type of YouTube video. Um, this video is about a simple school management application. Me and my colleague Samir Nasser created for our AppTech K project. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so uh, this is my main page here. Uh, when I run it, uh, a splash screen opens with a loader down here. I can set how long I want this loader to load for. Okay, so let me open it again. Mm. School management software developed by Samar Fazal and Samar Nasser. Okay, so in the login page, I can only enter an admin ID or the teacher ID. This application is not meant for students. Okay, so right now, at the moment, I've just created admins. Uh, they, they are not. Okay, let me check if they are teachers right now. Mm. This is my SQL file. Set all from teachers. Okay, yeah, they are not teachers right now, so I'll have to create them afresh. For admins, I think, yeah, they are two admins. One Salman and one Samir. Okay, so the user ID and password. So uh, Salman, Salman. Uh, login, admin here. Okay, so this is my first frame. Uh, welcome Salman Fazal, user type admin, logout. In this frame, this teacher, when I bring the mouse over, you can see there is add, edit, remove teachers. The same thing for students, view users, and welcome to it all. So first for teachers here, uh, add teacher. Uh, in this frame, I can add teacher, edit teacher. In here, I can also view teachers. Uh, and uh, delete teachers. Let me like add two or three teachers at first. Uh, one zero zero one. So you can see the t hash is there. It automatically adds it itself. Okay, so whatever I do, whatever I write, the t hash will add itself. I'm starting with one, but then the t hash comes automatically. One zero zero one. Password. It has restriction of minimum eight characters. So I'll just give Salman. Salman. Uh, first name Salman, last name Fazal, email. Even this one has restrictions. I cannot just give random email, something like this. It has to be something at something dot something. So let me just give uh, Salman at Fazal dot com. Mm, phone number 8 to 13 characters. So uh, random digits and uh, okay, yeah, here, see. So these are 13 characters at the moment. If I add more, it will just remove it itself. What's if I add it, it will just remove it. Okay. Uh, gender male, date of birth. This is the format. It won't accept any other format. So 1990 random date and 00909. Subject, this one's English, submit. New teacher added. When you see no SQL now, select all from teachers. Mm, here, user ID, the password, user type, and all. Okay, so uh, let me add two more teachers. Uh, 1002 password, the same thing again. Salman, Salman, uh, and the random name, random last name, email, uh, phone number. 1999090909. Okay, one more. One zero zero three. Password Salman Salman. First name something random. Okay, no. Uh, Samir. Samir Nasser. Oops. Email Samir at nasser.com. Random number. Uh, gender math. Date of birth one in eight random dates, uh, and then maybe geography. Numbers and other. Okay, so I'll, when I go to the edit panel, when I click on view teachers here, the three teachers added. Mm, okay, if I want to edit a teacher, I I need to have the user ID. So like, let me edit one of it. Um, one zero zero one. Uh, T hash one zero zero one when I click 
wait it's two zeros when i click enter it will it will automatically fill in the rest uh, let me change it to my real number 255 i'm from tanzania 6845306650 okay submit teacher updated view teachers here okay okay and then delete teacher I need an admin ID, admin password, and a teacher ID. So let me just add one more. Uh, okay. Uh, let me copy this. Uh, submit new teacher edit. And for deleting it, okay, you can see there's a teacher here, the, this one, okay, and to delete it, Salman, which is the admin ID, and the password is Salman2, Salman, this is the teacher ID, delete, are you sure, yes, this teacher, delete it, edit teacher, view teachers, it's not there anymore, okay, so the same thing for students too. Let me add two or three students. One zero zero one. First name Salman Fazal. Salman at Fazal .com. <laughs> Submit new student added. One zero zero two. Uh, let me show you what happens if I do this. Like the first thing invalid email. Okay, so here test with something.com submit invalid phone number. Okay, and for the date, if I keep something like this, it won't accept it. It will change it to an year, month, and date. So one nine nine six maybe zero four zero four submit new student added mm. let me add one more three of which teachers and students one zero zero three uh, first name Samir Nasser Samir at Nasser.com Mm, one nine two zero three zero four. Okay, so it works the same thing here. ID when I click enter, it will automatically fill in this, and then I can edit it and then delete the same thing. So uh, this is for the students. Next, view users mm, over here. This is the admin panel, so you can view every user with their password. Uh, because the admin has full control. So these are the two admins at the moment um, The three teachers and uh, Three students I can search by name here. So maybe someone's name Salman Salman here uh, Samir here Okay, I can send a message to a user. I'll share this later Okay, close. Uh, what's next? Okay, post notice over here, you can the admin can post an uh, admin or teacher can post a notice. So, example, if I post a notice, hello uh, from admin admin Salman uh, post post successful. This is the notice, my ID and the description of the ID I signed in with. I can click on it and view here. I can also edit it like uh, uh, updated. Okay, update, update successful, it's updated. And the thing for this is, the, uh, the one who posted it is the only one who can update it. For the others, this text box here won't be editable. So, you won't be able to update it. And if I, can, if I want to delete here, post deleted, it's gone. Uh, let me keep it again. Uh, hello from admin Salma. Hello from Tanzania, proud of my country. Okay, okay. This is the post notice. I'll show it to you later that the other users, of course, received it too. 
uh, messages I can send a message to another user so like my inbox and my outbox a uh, new message let me send it to maybe a teacher mm, th1001 okay uh, from admin salman send I can delete it but I won't delete it right now I'll show it later view here the message is centered it's in my outbox the difference between messages and post notices post notice goes to every user anyone who signs in can see the notice uh, messages goes to a certain user only okay and uh, the last well, the last part for this frame is the change password I can change the password for user so um, let me change it for the teacher t1002 maybe password the old password was salman salman new password let it be one two three four five six oops seven eight one two three four five six seven eight submit password changed if i check in the sql select all from teachers uh, here this is the password okay okay so let me change it back to normal uh t hash one zero zero what is it two yeah uh, the old part okay let me show you this when i click on submit it will tell me to fill in everything okay if i keep a wrong old password fill in every let me fill in everything a new password let it be salman 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 old password is wrong okay so i have to keep this one one two three four five six seven eight and maybe if these ones don't match okay submit passwords do not match so now submit password changed if i here someone someone okay so we're done with the admin panel uh well, let's go to the teacher panel next uh logout okay the teacher panel these are the three ids let me log in with t hash one zero zero one t hash one zero zero one password is salman salman Hey, it's something's wrong. The username or the password. Uh, Salman, Salman. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. These are the six different options in teacher. One of them is C students. I can see students here. The teacher cannot see the admins and everyone. They just have access to the students. Okay, so these are the three students that I can see. I can search my name again. Uh, um, what? Uh, so, uh, okay, and if I do this, there is a student. Okay. Close. I can set marks for each student. Okay. How this works is select subject from tab and press enter. Uh, then press uh, enter to, uh, from your password to access it okay so what it means is when I click on English only the English teacher can access it like they have to keep their password and they'll be able to access it here okay when I click on ok it will keep asking for me until I enter the correct password if like I keep random stuff again the password is Salman Salman okay here now I can access it I can set marks for like Salman Fazal yeah, I'm making myself smart. 100, <laughs> and uh, it sets the average column automatically. Calculates it automatically. Uh, 100. Okay. For someone else, uh, zero. Uh, maybe 35. And maybe somewhere. If you're watching this video, then sorry. <laughs> uh, zero and. Uh, uh, maybe 10 okay the lowest uh, okay and when I go to geography now I'm not sure if we created a geography yeah there is a geography teacher geography I'll have to enter the password again it's the same password so Salman Salman okay these are the marks so it basically works the same way English again Salman Salman okay so it's still there uh, Okay, and when I click on cancel, it will close. Uh, what's next? The attendance. Okay. 
attendance how this works is it sets the attendance once in a day so like I cannot give the same attendance for the same user twice for the same student so like let me try this update oops what's wrong okay there's something wrong I'll send I'll fix it before sending it to you okay sorry for that so again it works you can only set the attendance once in a day so like if the date is different you can set it again and again yeah it won't work right now because there is no attendance and i'll fix this later okay i can search by maybe user id name or date maybe by date i can enter a date here and search uh on a certain date if the user was present so i can just enter a date here and it will automatically bring the results up uh, when I go back to search pack and fill this in, so there's something wrong here. I'll fix it later. Okay. Uh, okay. Next is the post notice here. Remember, I posted a notice from Edmund Salman. These are the notices when I view it. This text box is not editable. I cannot write anything. So only the one who posted it can do it. Okay. Uh, again, if I want to post a notice here, hello. And yes, I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs> okay, I can delete it too. Okay, post notice. So again, if I post a notice from here, every user can view it. Oh, close. The next is messages. Messages again. See, I received a message. It's in my inbox from Admin Salman. View it here from Admin Salman. I can delete it if I want and I can also send a message again uh, to maybe this teacher random message sent it's in my outbox to him in the message and again uh, the last part is change password it's the same thing again like I showed you in the admin um, okay that's it for my application the teacher frame and the uh, uh, admin frame okay guys this is the end of the video uh, if you want this application, just like this video, subscribe and share it on Facebook. Remember to take me on your share, so I know you did it. And uh, uh, email me once you're done, so I can send you the jar file and the skill. But if you want the entire source code, um, read the description below. Okay. Once again, thanks for watching, and please do leave a comment.